Christians commemorate the death of Jesus Christ on Good Friday. President Buhari asks Nigerians to pray for return of Chiba girls and remaining Dapchi girl. Former President Jonathan enjoins Nigerians not to give up hope on the country. Ex-Vice President Atiku Abubakar reacts to the death of soldiers in Kaduna ambush. Welcome to the News Hour on Television Nigerian. I am Eunice Johnson. As Christians across the world commemorate the death of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary on Good Friday, Catholic faithfuls in Abuja, the nation's capital, reflect on the significance of the event. TVN's Austin peacemaker Inaide completes the story. Good Friday is a Christian holiday commemorating the crucifixion of Jesus Christ and his death at Calvary. It is a day observed during Holy Week as part of the activities preceding Easter Sunday. At Our Lady Queen of Nigeria Pro Cathedral in the federal capital city Abuja, parishioners gathered to commemorate the death of Christ by dramatizing the stations of the cross. The significance of the day and lessons Christians should draw from the event was reaffirmed by the youth chaplain, Reverend Father Andrew, and other parishioners. The event of today is the reenactment of that passion, that journey of Jesus on the cross. So we celebrate it, journeying with Jesus, sharing in the pains and the sufferings of Jesus, that as we participate in the suffering and the death of our Lord Jesus Christ, we also share in the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today we are commemorating the day Jesus died for us, to save us, to give us salvation, to reconcile us back to God, to the Father. And today we are enjoined, personally I would say we are really enjoined not to be afraid of suffering. We should know that at the end Jesus um, forgave those who tortured him that much. This should be an outstanding lesson for ability to forgive those who cause us pain and even ourselves for the pain we cause ourselves. Good Friday, it's, 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 it's a day of the Lord, the day the Lord died for us. So as Christians, we should also learn to sacrifice for one another just as Christ sacrificed for us. Good Friday is a very important day to Christians all over the world. On Good Friday, Christians remember that Christ died for everyone despite having no wrong. To date, there are parades all over the world to constantly celebrate and remember that Christ died for my kind. Austin Peacemaker, Inaide, TVN News. President Muhammad Buhari has asked Nigerians to continue to pray for the safe return of the remaining Chiba girls and others in Boko Haram captivity. The president made the request in his Easter message to Nigerians. He expressed appreciation for the recent release of some of the abducted Dapchi school girls. He said he was hopeful that all those still in captivity would also regain their freedom. While urging Nigerians to continue to pray for the safe release of others, President Buhari disclosed that he is directly has sent security agencies to ensure the safety of schoolgirls in troubled areas. The abduction of the schoolgirls had raised concerns about the safety of schools, especially in the Northeast, where the Nigerian military has dealt a fatal blow to the activities of insurgents. Former President Goodluck Jonathan has enjoined Nigerians not to give up on the country despite its present challenges. In an Easter message posted on his official Facebook page, Jonathan says he expects the country to overcome its challenges despite the efforts of those working to undermine its growth and development. According to the ex-president, Easter is a time when Christian faithful across the world celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. He disclosed that he is taking the opportunity provided by the season to reaffirm his belief that the country will rise above its current challenges. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar has reacted to the death of 11 soldiers killed by bandits in Kaduna 
On his Twitter page, the former number two citizen urged Nigerians to pray for the families of the fallen heroes who, according to him, risked their lives for the safety of citizens. Atiku Abubakar stated that the soldiers took the bullet and paid the ultimate price for the safety and unity of the country. Similarly, the general officer commanding one merchandise division, Nigerian Army Major General Mohammed Mohammed, says the army is poised to defend the territorial integrity of the country. The soldiers who were killed by bandits along Braining Gwari Road on the 20th of March 2018 were laid to rest on Thursday. The father of former Agriculture and Rural Development Minister Akinwumi Adeshino is dead. The late Roland Adeshino passed away on Thursday, 29, 2018. In a tweet on his Twitter handle, Akinwumi Adeshino, who is the president of the African Development Bank, posted a photo showing himself and his late father. The minister served during the Good Luck Ebele Jonathan administration. He added that he wouldn't have been who he is presently without his father's love and sacrifice. The 2017 World Food Prize laureate described his father as his role model. After the break, Majority Leader of the House of Representatives Femi Bajabiamila mourns death of Representative Jibril Buba. Thanks for staying tuned. The majority leader of the House of Representatives, Femi Gbadambi Amila, is mourning the death of his deputy, Jibril Boba, saying he will miss Jibril greatly. In a statement, Femi said he received the news of his deputy's death with pain and sadness. The majority leader of the House of Representatives recalled sitting next to the late lawmaker for about three years. He described Representative Jibril Buba as a very transparent man with a rare characteristic. He explained that the former Kogi state representative at Green Chamber was transparent and very principled to a fault. Late Representative Jibril died at the age of 58 in the early hours of Friday. He has since been buried in Lokoja, the Kogi state capital. And in sports, Nigeria's female senior national team, Super Falcons, are set to play France in a prestige friendly in Le Mans. The game, which will take place on April 6th at the Stade Marina, comes days after the Super Eagles concluded the first phase of their 2018 FIFA World Cup actual build-up with games against Poland and Serbia. Coach Thomas Denneby, whose maidens composed entirely of home-based professionals at the Wafu Women Cup of Nations in Abidjan in February, will have the complement of foreign-based players when the battle with France as from 9 p.m. on Friday next week. Former Chelsea goalkeeper Peter Cech says he left Stamford Bridge in 2015 to avoid sitting on the bench. The Czech Republic goalkeeper said it was very tough leaving the club for London rivals Arsenal, but he had to go. Czech joined Chelsea in 2004 and went on to win the Premier League, FA Cup, League Cup, Community Shield, Champions League and Europa League. He made 333 appearances but lost his position after Thibault Quarters arrived from Atletico Madrid to turn first choice at the club. The Zec International says it was the hardest decision he made. And on the foreign scene, a winner has emerged from the controversial presidential election in Egypt. 
Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi won a second term with a 99.6% of valid votes. The flagship state-owned newspaper Al-Haram also raised its estimate of turnout in the March 26 and 28 election to 42.08%. Sisi, who as army chief ousted Egypt's first freely elected president, Mohamed Morsi, from the Islamic Brotherhood, Mohamed Morsi, after a mass street protest in 2018. And that's the news on Television Nigerian. But before we go, a look at the headlines. Christians recognize the death of Jesus Christ on Good Friday. President Buhari asks Nigerians to pray for the return of Chibok and remaining Dapchi girls. Former President Jonathan enjoins Nigerians not to give up hope on the country. Ex-Vice President Atiku Abubakar reacts to death of soldiers in Kaduna ambush. And that's the news hour, but before I go, I leave you with this thought. Let's join hands in making the job of nation building easier. No one hand can clap alone. I'm Eunice Johnson. Have a pleasant night.